hey so i'm sure you've seen these iconic kendall jenner red bikini pictures and you're like how she looked like that most importantly how her coochie looked like that anyway so today i'm gonna be trying out her diet her workout we're gonna see if it's actually good or not because i know you're probably like damn does she actually put in the work or is it just surgery oh just kidding just kidding love you kendall anyways let's get started That always stays Dinner by the waterway It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some deal cross He asked if I could stay a while Good morning. Today I'm doing Kendall Jenner's workout routine And I'm eating like her So if you guys haven't seen it yet These red pictures here Iconic. So, we are gonna try to live a life like hers for a day. And, you know, I could do a week. But I really just don't want to. I just feel like that'd be miserable because I'm not a model. I'm not the most highest paid model. So why am I gonna work out like I am getting paid for that? Because I'm not. I'm really excited though. So it says she wakes up at 6.30 a.m. and starts her workout at 7. But I live an hour away from the gym. So I woke up at 5.30 and I'm about to head to the gym right now. It's currently 6.20. I got my coffee and I got my water. And I'm going to listen to an audiobook. This video is I'm kidding. This video is not sponsored. I'm just going to listen to an audiobook using Audible. The one I'm listening to is all you need to know about the music business. All right. I'll see you at the gym. All right. So basically, Kendall Jenner has a trainer. Her trainer lives in LA. But her trainer is probably expensive. But I have my own trainer but his name is Manny Muscle. Hey. hey. So I saw she wore a black workout set so I was like oh I'm gonna wear a black workout set. All right so we're gonna start off with high intensity cardio because that's what she does. I'm not ready for today. I don't ever do cardio. I hate cardio and he knows that I hate cardio but we're gonna do it. <laughs> Don't worry. What the f Kendall? She says she hates cardio too. She's like, I'll do it. My throat is dry. Dog friendly gym, so expect to see dogs if you come. Expect to see Sterling. Gym puppy! Gym puppy! Alright, so Manny thought it'd be a great idea to start me off with a weight, even though last time I did this without a weight, I literally was out of breath and was about to clap. But Manny's like, Ma, you're buff. Does it look like I could push this thing? Does it look like I play football? Yes! Ready? I don't know what he expects from me. I will not be able to. Ready? Set? Go! There you go! There you go, easy. Three, two, one. Trap young. Can we do it without the weight? Who does he think I am? All right, then you're gonna push from there now. Huh? Is it harder to push from down low? <laughs> My shoe came off. What the f I can't. I actually cannot. I literally, um, Ryan. Go, push. Am I supposed There you go. She runs up and down the track. We ain't got a track. <laughs> There's no track, so basically I'm gonna be Usain Bolt. Right now we're in the Olympics doing the 100 meter dash. If you actually don't know, I used to do cross country, track, field, which is like long jump, triple jump, and then I used to do a lot, but then now I'm just lazy. All right, 100 meter dash, guys. We gotta get ready. Runners! I forgot how to even take my mark. How do you do this again? This is so scary. I'm gonna trip and eat shit. 
and I kind of know it. If you ever have to do the 100 meter dash on pavement, good luck, Charlie. Runners, take your mark. I think that was a solid like 40 seconds. <laughs> Round two, we, we're in the finals now, baby. Runners, take your mark. So my legs are a lot longer than my torso, and my torso is like two inches. So a bitch used to do track. Ready? Watch me do the long jump. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, gold medal. Thank you so much. I got the participation medal. All right, the workout is done, but I'm hitting the stairmaster, and I thought I could do it, but it's so hard. All right, workout is done. That workout was difficult. It like wasn't a lot. I didn't work out for the full hour, but it definitely got my heart rate up and I could not breathe. Like I, my throat was so dry. I don't know that I think it was like the cardio and everything, but her workout is difficult. And those like those crunches, some of those crunches killed me, but her trainer said that planks are some of the most overlooked like ab workouts and stuff. So I should definitely be doing more of those, but the sled, I don't know how she does it. High interval cardio, don't know how she does it. The banded stuff is a little bit easier. I like the banded stuff, but like cardio just kills me even though I used to be a track athlete and like a cross-country athlete I don't know why but I've never been able to get that runner's high I think I just like never enjoyed it and only did it because I was like half decent at it um definitely not anymore but uh yeah cardio is not my thing and I will not be doing that voluntarily but um <laughs> Kendall I see why your body is like that and if I had to do that every single day or probably 10 times harder I think I would pass out to be honest the time is currently 7 55 a.m. finish the workout um, it says that she works out for an hour or even less you don't need more than an hour but I'm gonna hit up a grocery store and we're gonna shop for some things that she eats because I looked at her diet and there's some things that I don't have at home so we're gonna go get that and make some breakfast so I'm at Trader Joe's now and it says she eats almonds so I just picked those up as a snack and then she also has oatmeal in the morning with eggs and avocado and honestly I don't really like oatmeal that much so I'm just gonna get this gluten free oatmeal classic this has 8 grams of protein in it and it's the most protein that I could find out of all of these so I'm gonna grab one of these and then to top it off I'm gonna get this peanut butter protein granola this has 11 grams of protein per two thirds cup she says she likes to eat hummus with vegetables so I'm gonna grab some hummus I've never really tried it before so Okay, so I got the vegetables because she likes to eat, you know, vegetables, hummus, vegetables with her dinner, which is chicken, but now I'm just kind of looking for, like, the snacks. Alright, so let's start off with breakfast. An avocado, some egg whites because just egg whites have more protein, Dave's Killer Bread because Again, protein. Chunky, crunchy, rolled oat clusters. This is peanut butter protein granola, and it has 11 grams of protein per serving. And the reason why I keep talking about protein is because it's really important to eat protein, and if you're trying to lose weight, protein should be the highest percentage that you're eating in balance with carbs and fat. So that's what I'm trying to do. I don't count my calories, I count my macros. I just don't suggest it if you struggle with an eating disorder in the past. It's just very toxic, and I don't do this very often. But um, I probably do this maybe once or twice a year, but after that, you kind of get in like a little groove and you just do it yourself. Yeah, I haven't done this in like honestly a year. Count my macros, but I'm gonna do it now because I'm trying to uh, be lean because I'm trying to cut. So I'm trying to get more protein in than I'm getting carbs and fat. And then we got the organic gluten-free oatmeal classic and this has eight grams of protein in it. So I'm going to cook up these egg whites, toast this bread, put some avocado on it and then make this. I don't know how to do this. Add hot water and fill to the line and stir. Cover and let stand for three minutes. Okay. I'm not a nutritionist, so don't. Don't take my advice too seriously, but basically macros is your protein, carbs, and your fat combined. And there's different percentages and stuff you can reference to to see if you want to either gain muscle, stay the same weight, or lose weight. And I'm not trying to necessarily lose weight because I am working out to gain muscle. And when you gain muscle, muscle is heavier than fat. So that's why I don't use a scale because if I'm working out, my weight always, always, always goes up because I'm building more muscle. So I don't ever use the scale. So if you're noticing that the scale's going up and you're working out and you don't understand why, that's probably why. And you need a lot of protein to feel these muscles so that these muscles can grow and you know, all this work that you put in in the gym actually counts as something because if you're eating like shit but going to the gym, you're probably not gonna get very many results because what's the point of going to the gym in 
in building muscle if you're not feeding the muscle to actually grow it and I find one of the easiest ways to be healthy and eat healthy is just cutting out sugar and just cutting out fast food I've tried the keto diet I've tried being vegetarian and I've tried cutting sugar and the most effective way is cutting sugar because instead of your body burning sugar all this processed sugar obviously fruits and stuff is okay because that's not processed sugar instead of your body burning that it burns carbs instead of processed sugar so your energy just lasts longer and overall you are a lot healthier I haven't had oatmeal in so long I don't eat oatmeal I just don't find it's very good but Kendall Jenner does so Just made the food. It looks super good. Um, I'm really excited to try this oatmeal because I don't usually eat oatmeal. So I wonder if I'm going to like it or not. So let's see. I mean, I already know how this avocado toast is going to taste because it's avocado toast. If I'm be honest, I used to be an avocado toast hater. Ew, y'all see that fly out of my mouth? But it's growing on me. It's like the more you eat it, the better it gets. Trust me. I suggest if you do eat avocado toast often, try to get Dave's Killer Bread because like it's bread, but like good for you. You know what I mean? Um, but this whole meal is 43 grams of protein, but your body can only absorb about 35, I think, in one setting so i'm not even gonna get all this protein but cheers i'm just gonna add more as i get down there but i feel like this is gonna taste so bland this is actually really good with the peanut butter like crumble I, it would taste like bland without it tell me why i would actually eat this every day it's really good i feel like this is such a just simple like easy healthy breakfast i actually might start eating this every day do you what was I going to ask? Oh, do you get bored of foods easily or can you like eat the same thing all the time? Because I get bored of everything else in my life, but I will eat the same food all the time if I find it good. And I never get sick of it. Avocado toast, chicken and vegetables, tuna and crackers. If I like something, I will make it over and over and over and over again. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so the next step is to make chicken, rice, and vegetables for lunch. Honestly, not even hungry. That breakfast was so filling, and I think it was the oatmeal because I usually am really hungry after just eating avocado toast, but I think it was that oatmeal, which is crazy. So I think I'm gonna definitely start to eat oatmeal more, even though it's like not that appetizing to me, but chicken and rice. Okay, so the rice is gonna take the longest to cook, so I'm gonna get started on that right now. It's really important to rinse your rice though because there's a bunch of starch on it. I literally just eyeballed it. I I used to have a rice cooker and I used to use that all the time when I was back at home, but I don't have one anymore. And I've never fucked up on rice and I feel like the easiest way to do it is put your rice in the pot and then use about a finger, like the one quarter of the finger length. You know how you have those like lines in your finger? One of these and then use that to measure for the water and then cook that on low with the pot top on until all the water is absorbed and then turn the heat off and then take the lid off and then let it sit for a bit. Okay, so I just hopped up a meeting. The rice is cooked now though, but now I need to make the vegetables and the chicken. Damn, my dumbass really thought that this chicken would have been defrosted. Probably should have left it out, but it's not like frozen, so it should be fine. I literally took this chicken out like three days ago. Which is the softest piece of chicken? I kinda like cutting chicken that's low-key frozen. It's so much less slimy. I'm definitely gonna have a lot of this for leftovers, maybe tonight or whenever I'm hungry, just in general, just because this is like a lot of food. I'm not hungry whatsoever, surprisingly. The breakfast was so filling. Okay. Now I'm gonna keep this pan up on medium high. And then while that's going, I'm gonna, um, oh, fuck. edamame has so much protein and I just love edamame. I usually buy the whole beans, but this is what I could find. So it wants me to pierce this film. This looks like space food. Like, is this the future? I'm gonna pierce this and put this in the microwave for like four minutes. Because all right, and then I'm just gonna take some of the broccoli. I bought so many different vegetables for this, but I decided to do broccoli and edamame, but I'm probably gonna eat like lentils tomorrow. Lentils is also a really good source of protein. I love broccoli. Broccoli tastes so good in my opinion. Then I'm gonna take a bowl with some water, put the broccoli in it, take this plate, put it over top, and then throw that in the microwave as well. But now I'm gonna put the chicken in the stove. I mean, on the oven.
Just finished making the food. I'm obviously not going to use everything. I'm going to use a lot of this for leftovers, which is going to be really good so I don't have to make dinner tomorrow night. Um, and it's always good just to have food ready because I feel like when you don't, you just tend to like eat out or just snack and not actually have a full meal. So having food ready is super nice. I seasoned this with paprika, cumin, and red pepper flakes. Those are like my go-to um, seasonings. Oh, this actually looks so good. I'm excited to eat this. All right, let's get a little bit of... Let's try the chicken. Good chicken. The seasoning is superb. The broccoli is nice and soft, perfect with a little crunch. Edamame is good. It is a little bit dry, but I cooked it on high heat because sometimes I really hate moist chicken. So honestly, I'd rather have it like a little chewier than hella moist, but overall, really good. All right, so it's a lot later now. I'm in my closet and I'm about to go to Craig's. Have you seen this iconic picture of Kendall Jenner holding her A1A bottle? That was taken last week at Craig's with Justin Bieber and Hailey Bieber. And she said in an article once what she ordered. So we're gonna go to Craig's, order that exact same thing, and we're gonna see if what she gets is actually good or not. So in that one picture, she's wearing a white top, black jeans, and black booties. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't have a white top like that, but I have like this cream long sleeve that I guess will work. She's wearing knee-high boots, but I really don't wanna wear knee-high boots. It's just not the vibe. I don't think so. I'm gonna wear these really flowy black pants from Pretty Little Thing with that shirt and then some boots. This looks ugly. Um, I'm just gonna wear whatever I want because I'm not about to feel insecure walking into Craig's and it's not like it's dark where no one can see me. Like, it's still five o'clock. Like, everyone's gonna be able to see me. So I'm just gonna change. Cause, like, I don't want you to feel secondhand embarrassment. I'm just gonna save myself from the embarrassment. So I'm just gonna quickly change because, um, This looks cute on Kendall, but um, I'm not Kendall. I'm also like a foot shorter than her, so. All right, I changed, I'm ready to go. This is not the best outfit, but um, I'm also gonna be late. This top is from Motel Rocks. This is just this mesh one that you can like tie. These jeans are from White Fox, and then my shoes are Travis Scott Jordans. This is what it looks like, yeah. Okay, so we're at Craig's now. I ordered exactly what she orders, which is a margarita pizza and bolognese, which is vegan though. Never had this. I've been here once and it was really good, but I'm gonna try this and see if it's actually good. I don't know. It says that she, for dinner, she either eats like Nobu or this or just like margarita pizza, pasta, stuff like that. So I'm gonna try this. Margarita pizza is my favorite food alongside salt and pepper chicken wings and chicken Slovakia. All right. Cheers. It's really good and like light, but nothing like special, but it definitely is good. The crust is nice. I feel like maybe there's too much sauce and not enough cheese. It's kind of like in a pool of marinara sauce, but it's still really good though. The reason why I like margarita pizza so much is like in Italy, you can just eat so much of it because it's so light and you can have a whole pizza to yourself because it's like not thick crust. I love it. Time to try this vegan bolognese. The way I'm hunched over right now. This chair is like unusually high up. All right. Whoops. I look <laughs> like poot. It's really good. Wow. I never really eat vegan food, but this is like really good. Like it's addicting. Like I don't want to stop eating it. This is where she came to take the 818 photos that were like paparazzi, even though she's holding it at certain angles so that the logo is like shown on the paparazzi camera. Both of these are really good, but I think this is a little bit better. I love Italian food. Italian food is my favorite food. What's your favorite food? Let me know down in the comments. We just finished up dinner. It was so good. I got the pizza to go But I saw that Kendall for a treat She likes to go get Greek frozen yogurt, which I've never tried before so I'm gonna do that I used to be obsessed with frozen yogurt and just like would get it every single day with Oreos and strawberries and everything So good, but I've never tried the Greek one But Greek yogurt is like good for you because it has a lot of protein. I actually bought some and it's at home But I'm excited to try this. Um, what do I even have to say? Nothing. Okay, let's just go get it. Can I just get the um, Greek honey? Can I get strawberries? And um, mango, please? All right, we got it. She said it's really good, I haven't tried it yet. I got mango, strawberries, dark cacao nibs, and peanut butter, whatever. Let's try it with the mango and chocolate. Mine tastes like Greek yogurt. Yeah, mine tastes like Greek yogurt too. It just like tastes good. The consistency is great. I think I'm just used to fucking Oreos being crumbled all over it. <laughs> Let's try a peanut butter thing. What the fuck? I'm sorry you had to watch that, but these are a no-go. I put on a red bikini just like how Kendall does on her iconic 
mirror picture and um definitely don't have that um that slit belly button but you know we're trying okay we're fucking trying her workout hard as fuck probably will never voluntarily do again her diet good i like it like it's not hard and then her like snacks is really good um dinner at craig's was so phenomenal Actually, I really want to go back. Her diet and stuff is not restricting or anything, but the workouts, oh my god, I can't. Like, the amount of cardio that this girl probably does, insane. But you know, body yaddy 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 yaddy. Anyways, let me know who else you guys want me to do, because I will do it. Thank you guys so much for 1.4 million subscribers. We just hit that yesterday, which is insane. So, thank you. Now let's try to get to 1.5 million subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because I read every single one of my subscribers' comments. And I post three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So, I'll see you next time. East and the west, I'm racking up on my breath, uh, power on me, I'm feeling just like a Tesla. Too much treat, the smoke is making my chest hurt. Girl on me, I'm thinking I should arrest her.